Hi guys and welcome to another video. I thought I'd do a quick video on this. We'll do another one sometime and take a baffle out but as you know by the title I thought I'd just quickly talk a little bit about my new exhaust and my chain and sprockets and my performance filter and new spark plugs. <laughs> so first of all the job I've done which videos will be coming out soon if this one comes out before them. I've got read quite a few videos at the moment but I fairly recently took all this off and put a new filter in, a DNA performance filter and I also changed the spark plugs while I was at it because they would have been from new no doubt and I put in those um, NGK Iridim ones which I think come as standard on this anyway because that's what was in them and I also changed the chain and sprockets to AFAM chain and sprockets Standard teeth on the back, 46 I believe it is. Golden black chain from AFM. And the front sprocket, I actually went down one tooth from 15 to 14. So that should improve the acceleration. Not that you need to on these bikes really because they are pretty rapid, 650s. And uh, I also changed the end can, not full system because I couldn't quite afford that. Plus, with a full system, you really need to get a ECU tune or flash, whatever you want to call it, same thing, just settings changed on the ECU, it's just a computer with settings for the for itself to know what's going on with the engine and stuff and they can throw up codes and all that as you know, if something's wrong, blah blah blah, all that sort of thing. So it's just a Scorpion Red Power N can. Currently still with the baffle in, but still sounds pretty loud. Obviously it probably don't come over on camera that well and I don't hope that he's making a bit of noise over there but hopefully it's not too bad for the video right now but I'll just start it up and we'll go for a little ride and we'll see sort of my first impressions I've only ridden up round the corner basically you know just over the other side of those trees there is basically where I live so I've just come down the road and down it let's just start up and then we'll get going I actually need to go and get some petrol as well because the fuel lights on so we'll go and do that in a bit after taking it for just a quick ride, just had a little chat about it, just a quick video, it's not going to be very long. And another time we'll come down here or somewhere, start up again, do this, and we'll take the baffle out and see what that's like. And I might leave the baffle out, I'm not sure yet, because it's pretty loud as it is, like I say. Let's start it up. Pretty sweet really, isn't it? I've not noticed any crackles yet. I did do run off a couple of times with it, but I think that probably needs to get up to full heat first before I start doing any crackles if it does. And it might be more likely to do that with the baffle out as well. But also, maybe my bike's just running extra good and there's no <laughs> unburnt fuel to ignite in the exhaust to cause any crackles. I'm sure there will be some. As I say, it probably needs to get up to full temperature first, hot enough to ignite it and all that. Already it, it does feel more responsive and everything, obviously it should do from that front sprocket down one tooth. I've got to try not to shake too much, although the audio should be a little bit better hopefully because I've finally got some new proper microphone cover things because I lost the one that it came with and then all I done was got a bit of foam from an old air filter and that's going to still let a lot more air through than a proper mic cover so that's why my audio was still a bit too sensitive but we'll see what it's like. It's not a lot you can do with, in these helmets as pain you have getting audio right and it's never going to be perfect. Anyway let's just see what the bike feels like. Well like I say it feels pretty rapid, nice and smooth. Sounds good, obviously, you know. People can actually hear me, you know, hopefully. Basically, that does feel so nice. 
and that change of sprocket I don't think has made it super crazy really. I was expecting quite a big change because usually the front sprocket is where you see the massive changes when you only go down one tooth or something whereas if you change the rear instead if I went up the teeth on the rear I'd have actually gone up more teeth on the rear to get the same change as the front <laughs> but so far I'm really chuffed with it obviously saved quite a lot of weight with this um, exhaust nice ass and that isn't it? nice 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 so I saved a fair bit of weight, that's like when I got the old end can off it shocked me how heavy it was, it was pretty mad I'm carrying the scorpion down in the box with all the bits and pieces in it that was light as anything that's like nothing there compared to the actual stock end can on this in a minute, hang out ticket that's the other thing I'm gonna to have to check out soon as well is I'm gonna to have to get my phone mount on the bars so I can use my GPS speedo so I can see how far right this speed is see if it's changed from what it was before because that was something like three four miles an hour difference at low speeds then over 60 miles an hour that was out about six miles an hour I think it was I've done a test before when I went to Yarmouth one time so I'll be able to see if it changed the speed of drive on these as you'll see in one of the videos is actually on the front sprocket so I don't know if it automatically sorts itself out that way or it probably doesn't that's probably the way where it goes out but it's probably better if they got it running off a wheel or something because that's going to detect the speed of the wheel as normal so that would be showing the correct speeds that way I think so this probably will be out a bit further I'll be interested to see how much by <laughs> definitely will be looking forward to getting that buffalo out at some point but what do you on come on guys don't leave me in the middle of the fucking street can see the slew around that corner be interested to see how loud it was, that was really loud when the exhaust was, the whole end can was off and I started it up while I was doing that because you, you know you got to try it and you one of my neighbours who's the only flat that's got a garden had their back door open <laughs> and I saw just after I'd done that they shut it I'd only switched on for a little bit, done a couple of revs and turned it off again but <laughs> a bit loud for my feet I was, a, I was a little worried about the front sprocket change well and the what are they doing well and the performance filter around the exhaust because they should give it some torque and power gain just the NCAN is said to give up to 6% in power gain I don't know what the torque would because I don't, didn't say what that would be but both of them should have helped a bit because more air getting in, more air getting out and stuff and, but the front sprocket I thought might change the torque so much that that might make it a little bit awkward to ride at low speeds and stuff but so far it's been no different to usual and obviously I'm used to the bike now so I know how to just really ease on the throttle and stuff like that so yeah I'm quite surprised how, how much it didn't change that negatively how much that f how good it feels <laughs> we need to take it for a proper good ride to really sort of tell other things I don't know how much top speed it would have lost but I'm not bothered about that really for this guy man now we've got fuel Oh shit, I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna look too quick. I'm gonna go get some petrol. I think I'll leave you there. Just a quick video to talk about that. We'll do another one soon. We'll take the buffalo in that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.